Hey everybody, um, I, I, I wasn't going to record this, but I think I'm going to just in, just so you guys have an idea. Uh, this is that bubbler I was telling you as I make the new one. You could see I was telling you that I was going to have my inlet port, my exit, my inlet port. They were going to come together. But what happens obviously is I can't connect two fittings together unless I use a union in between here. And I really don't want to get to that expense where I'm putting a union. So... I actually had a smaller fitting and that's when I determined it wasn't going to work. <laughs> so this was just a close nipple they call it. Uh, so I ended up going with a 3 inch, so that's just a 3 inch by 3 eighths inch nipple. I threaded the bottom of my, type, my pipe, I threaded the top, I put one of these quick connection polyurethane fittings on there. But I'm hoping you can see the inside, there it is, you can see the inside. So the in, that's the that's the tube that's gonna go. It goes about maybe a half an inch to three quarters of an inch off the bottom. So that's just a polyethylene uh, pipe going off the bottom. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my bubbler and I'm gonna attach it to my cell. I've got some really good uh, uh, pipe. To, pipe tape on there and I put some pipe dope on there, some slow drying pipe dope. Uh, Teflon tape, I should call it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and screw the two of these together until they're tight. Hopefully they won't leak. Oh, what a pretty bug that is. Okay. One thing about down south here, we have a lot of pretty bugs. Usually big though. Okay, one more time, hopefully. I like to get some of that into the bottom. I don't want to remember now, we're only working with PVC here, so you don't want to go so tight that you're going to strip it out. Because that obviously ain't going to do you any good. So, let me see if I can't get some more out of the cell itself. Okay. Oop. Apparently, didn't have the cell done. I mean, Okay, let me in that. Okay, now this is yellow. It's it, it's it's a thicker grade than the white is. Uh, this is mainly for like gas lines and stuff like that. But you can use the white. Just make sure you got a good, just a good enough amount on there. Pretty heavy, and then I go over it with um, the slow drying uh, pipe thread sealant. I mean, it's, it's basically uh, Teflon. I mean, you don't have to use a Teflon tape. I use them both. Uh, so, you know, this is relatively inexpensive. You get this for like $2 at the depot or something. So it's just, you know, it's, it's slow drying, soft setting. So that way, if you ever have to get it off again, it's not to the point where it, some of these, you got to be careful because some of these uh, pipe thread, uh, compounds they dry hard and and you need a lot of torque to get them back off again so just keep that in mind when you're going to purchase purchase it that uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bear to get it back off if you're not careful if you get the wrong stuff okay so my parts been down there that's why I keep on bending down that's where my parts are out underneath my bench got me some quarter inch Poly tubing, and that's what I'm going to use to connect the two of these together. So if I get my big fat arm out of the way, you'll probably be able to see it better. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this to length. I'll go ahead and attach my polybutylene to the the barb, and then push it into my uh, thing there. Make sure it seats back into the rubber part, and that'll give me my connection of my output to my from my cell to the input of my bubbler. And like I said, I will go ahead and probably close this uh, safety valve right off because it, it, it did cause me a leak. I, um, I actually had to go to the tile guy there at the job and ask him for some silicone so that 
two second, let me borrow some silicone turned into an hour explanation of how all this stuff works. So it's pretty, pretty ironic. But anyway, so um, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I mean, you don't really need me to record on how I put this stuff together. Uh, I'll then take a, uh, I'll probably just go ahead and take this cat. Well, actually, I'll probably make a new one because this is a cool little bubbler. If nothing else, I got a big box down here of, um, of trials. I call it my testimony box, you know, whether it worked or it didn't work. So there's a lot of times I'll look in that box and say, well, you know, that part of this worked, but this part didn't work. So I go ahead and I'll change it up. So now that's another thing I'm going to have to do. You see how I've got this little sight glass on here? These are just quarter-inch barbs from a sprinkler system. Why they call it quarter-inch, I have no idea. I mean, they'll, they'll sit there and call this a quarter-inch MPT, male pipe thread, and then they come off this little tiny fitting. I mean, it's a little tiny thing. It comes from a sprinkler system, for heaven's sakes. And they'll call that a quarter inch. So, eh, go figure, you know. I guess the inter industries can't get their all ducks in the same row. But anyway, so I need to put another sight glass on our on our bubbler here. And I'll probably put it on the inside here to protect it from anything. Because, I mean, we're, we're starting to take up a lot of room here. And for a prototype, it's okay. I would get it closer, like I'd cut this down to maybe an inch and a half nipple, so this was really close to this. The problem was, is I, I couldn't spin this because this hit the top of the cell. So what I probably could have done, what I'll do in, in the future, when I build this unit over again, what I will do is instead of putting the barb right here, now that, I don't, now that I'm not going to have a safety valve on the cell because my bubbler is that close to it, I'll go ahead and put an angled barb off the top here, which will allow me to get this thing closer, and I can get it up higher. So as I'm spinning this pipe around, it'll clear this, and then I could use my close, you know what I mean, I'll be able to use my close nipple, and then these two pipes would be, you know, they'd be right next to each other. You know, they'd almost look they were, like they were attached. So, you know, this fitting, I could move it up, I could make the bubbler bigger. You know, you can never have too big of a bubbler, you know what I mean? It's okay, because this is going to determine the water level. This is going to determine the water level. Well, I shouldn't say that, because you really don't want a lot of gas in here. Um, that's not saying that we can't put a um, some kind of a, a, a shelf in here for the gas that won't come up to it. But um, there's nothing to say that I can't come out here and then go down with my hose and back into it either. You know, keeping my bubble at the same size. So, you know, this is pretty much going to determine the water level of my of my cell. Obviously that's what it's here for. So any water that does come out, foam or anything else, just gonna it's gonna end up back in here and it isn't gonna push out the top of my my uh, my tube. Hopefully. So unless it pushes so much foam in here that it, it can't turn back into a liquid fast enough. So but that's why we call them tests, right? Thank you. 